There we go. Okay, perfect. So welcome to grade three Braille. I think we're on episode 23, but in the book, it is lesson 19. So last week we went over the sentences that we had for some of our lower word signs, linking lower word signs. We had sentences that we took from grade two to grade three and vice versa. And tonight, Nancy is going to be instructing us on two cell signs, part one and spacing. So she said she loved this lesson. So I'll give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this whole part of grade three. This is my favorite part. And we want to get into what two cell signs are before we start giving them to you. So the bulk of, of excuse me, a large portion of grade three consists of two celled word signs. And that's written like T-W-O hyphen C-E-L-L-E-D, two celled word signs. These signs are formed by using the 56 characters from lines one through six of the chart on pages one and two. Um, each of these characters is preceded by each of the first four characters in line number seven. Before you get started, um, yes, we have a hand raised. Jeanette, do you want to take it? Oh. Um, oh. Sure, let's find out what. Let's okay, find Jeanette. out what she needs. And Jeanette, Jeanette. I'm not sure you guys know, but um, episode 22 is not on the website. Okay, I will get that up by tomorrow. Thanks for the info. And, and since my entire Braille display crashed last week, I will very oh, much appreciate no. it. Well, remember <laughs> I told you I was having trouble with figuring out how to save the files? Oh, That's, yeah. That's we figured out the solution, but not before I completely destroyed the file. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. Okay, we can fix it. All right. Well, yeah. We'll we'll um, she'll get that episode up there. Oh, now we got another raised hand. Oh dear. Do you want to wait, <laughs> or it's up to well, you? Who is it? Cynthia. Cynthia, okay, let's just okay. Go quick. ahead, Cynthia. Uh, I just wanted to. I, I missed last week, so <laughs> yeah, I, I I am a bit lost. <laughs> well, the, we haven't started with any signs yet. Um, oh. We're just getting. I'm just explaining what is coming, and oh. then um, last week was just some exercises from the previous week. So if you heard the week before last, last week was only just exercises based on the signs and, and, the, and the rules that you learned the week yeah. before. Okay, so okay. The, the two cell word signs are all formed by using the 56 characters of lines one through six of the chart on pages one and two. And each of these characters is preceded by each of the four first four characters in line number seven, the chart, the page one and two. Therefore, the letter A would be preceded by dot four, dot five, dot four, five, and dots four, five, six, and it would have a different meaning each time <coughs> it gets one of those signs. So you're already acquainted with many other two-cell signs from grade two. In other words, uh, word, world, many, mother, father, day, name, you know, all of these are two-celled word signs. A two-celled sign should be distinguished from a short form word having only two characters. A short form word is made up of letter combinations some of which may be found within a contraction. Example, BL for blind, uh, low BC for because, 
GL for glory, MO for moreover, SH sign D for should. And these are all short form words because they're letter combinations. The others are two celled words because they are the dot four, five, four, five, or four, five, six before each of with the 56 characters. So, okay. As stated above, two celled signs use the 56 characters in lines one through six of the charts on page one and two, preceded by each of the first four characters on line seven of the same chart. Examples of two cell signs are found above, and I, I, I named some. Some additional ones are father, many, mother, there, or, you know, so forth. Okay, therefore, do not confuse two cell signs with short form words, which have two characters when studying the spacing rules discussed in this lesson. So, um, let me, oh, they, give, they, give, uh, they give a couple other things before we actually get into the signs. Letters can be added to two-celled signs to form other words only if these words cannot be written with equal brevity and clarity in any other way. Thus, the vowel combination sign for UA could be added to, let's see, yeah, for UA could be added to dot four A, which is the word act to form actual. Oh. So you have dot four A, dot five six L because that's the UA sign, the, the, the UA diphthong, five, six, and then the L, so that could be actual. Okay. The letter F, as in Frank, cannot be added to the sign, dot four A, to form fact, because that word can be written, outlined with equal brevity, F-C-T fact still the same three cells yes it's less dots so if you really want to do that but technically that's not correct so just outline with the same brevity fct this and the following lessons will acquaint you with the two celled word signs memorize them carefully and practice writing them before you attempt the exercises after each lesson also, remember to keep reviewing the material that you have learned in earlier lessons of this course. So remember, everything builds on everything else as it should. So here we start the words, and I'm going to give you each one. I'm going to, I'm going to give it to you in the order of dot four character, dot five character, dot four five character, dot four five six character. Now, each one of these, they give a little bit of, of, of the examples of words and how to use them as we go along. So the first one is dot four A, and that is the word act, A-C-T. And the examples they give are dot four A-S, acts, he acts like a friend, and Dot four A and V would be active. So that's the outline. Dot five A is the word among. We are among friends here. Dot four five A is the word appear. We appear to be doing well. So in other words, you could put the DIS sign in front of dots 45A and have disappear. Don't disappear, you may lose your place. And appearance dot four, oh, excuse me, dots 45A, dots 46E for the A and C E sign, appearance. You see how it takes a lot off of 
what you used to have to write in grade two even. Thoughts four, five, six A then is the word all. Let's finish all of this lesson. And then we go to the letter B, dot four B is the word better. We better learn all of this very well. So you have dot four B S as in betters, betterment, of course, dot four B, then dot five six T, the M E N T sign, betterment. Dot five B is the word bring. Let's bring this all into perspective. So you have dot five B S for brings. Dot five B I N G for bringing. So that's how you can add signs to that to each word. Dots four five B, the word bear as in B E A R. The example they give is dot four five B I N G for bearing. Dot four five. B S for bears, B E A R S. That's four five six B is the word brought. He brought me my lunch. And I'm making up these sentences myself. Uh, the book is not. <laughs> I'm just putting them in a sentence so that you can know which word I am referring to. Dot four. C, dot four with the letter C, is the word course, C-O-U-R-S-E. We are taking a Braille course. And the ex word examples they give here are the D-I-S sign in front of that, dot four C, could be discourse. And dot four C, G, the word coursing. And dot five C is the name Christ. The C H capital C H R I S T. So the examples they give here are dot five C dot six. Of course, dot six stands for I A N or I O N at the end of a, of a word. So this one becomes Christian. And dot C, uh, excuse me, dot five C, L I K E, of course, Christ like. And of course, now the book doesn't show you this, but I'm going to give this one to you. Dot five C M S becomes Christmas because you can outline that last A in Christmas. So dot five C M S becomes Christmas. It takes a lot less when you're labeling your CD. Boy, I tell you. Okay, dot four five C then becomes the word clear, C L E A R. So dots four five C and with an I N G is clearing. And clearance, of course, would be dots five four five C dots four six E clearance. Now, for your convenience, as we go through these, you'll find that they have inserted the ones we already know from grade two, as you're about to find out. Four, five, six, C, as we know from grade two, is the word cannot, C-A-N-N-O-T. And they go ahead and include those just so that the pattern is kept consistent as you're going through these signs. Dot four, D, as in David, is the word doing. I am doing well, D-O-I-N-G. Dot 5-D, of course, we know as the word day. Dot 4-5-D is the word does. Does he have it right? Dot 4-5-6-D, 
can stand for either the word did or the word done. Both of those. He did his work well. He has done all of his work. Four, uh, dot four E is the word etc. the ETC period. Dot five E, as we know, is ever. Dot four five E is each, as in each of us must do his own work, his or her own work. And our last one for today, dot four, five, six, E, the word even. So dot four, five, six, E, I and G would be evening. Good evening, everyone. The dots four, five, six, E, T as in Tom, F as in Frank, L, eventful eventful so those are the signs that we're going to learn and now we have a few rules to go with those signs are there any questions before i get into the rules that have to do with the first rule that we're going to learn today all right Mary. Mary? Um, I have two questions. Okay. I was wondering why would they, in the word eventful, why would they use FL when that has six dots and the FUL sign only has five dots? Because remember, we have been, we, we, they changed the FUL sign because dot five six is. The, the the medial diphthong for any vowel that starts with you so oh, in other words yes i think we said that another time and it yes. slipped my mind <laughs> yeah that's it it, just, it takes a while to get every all these little nuances in <laughs> these things really but that's why does. yeah well, that's why you, you use the fl for the reminder yep. and you betcha the other thing um before you started giving out all the dot four a and things like that well maybe right when you started you were saying that um something about um fact well we, the actual we could do that one with the four dot four a but you said fact i think you said we couldn't use dot four a in that that's one. correct now that's why correct. is that because if a word can be written with equal brevity, and that, that doesn't mean dot brevity, it cell brevity, in another way, because it would be clear to see FCT, to know okay. that as fact, then to see the F and with a dot four A after it, that might be a little, it wouldn't be as clear. Not as clear. Okay, so it's not dot brevity, it's cell brevity, and seeing it right. by first touch not so right. much the number of dots correct okay i got it once again for now <laughs> <laughs> that's perfectly fine buddy repetition you. is the mother of all learning right mother yes skill so yeah <laughs> eventually <laughs> yeah. all right okay we got one more hand all right who's jeanette hey jeanette go ahead jeanette okay Christian and Christ-like. Did you say Christian was dot five C dot six? Correct. Okay. And I didn't get the Christ-like thing. Dot five C. C and then L-I-K-E written out because Why? you wouldn't just want an L there. The, um, I suppose if you put a, a dash there between Christ and like, you could put the L for like. But just to have a dot five C L the, the word like. Yeah. It's, Cause it's a long I. Okay. Well, and that's not just that, but it's only a one syllable word and you can't outline the a out of a one syllable word like that because it's, it's only supposed to be an a not any other letter <coughs> except for the I before G H, but you have um, plus those signs one, one cell 
word signs like like and us and all those are supposed to have are supposed to have spaces on for the most part around them there's a few instances where they don't have to spacing rules but that we've discussed but yeah okay dot five cl it wouldn't really the l you'd be like what what is it what are you <laughs> what are you trying to say here um but yeah all right anybody else Nope. Okay. So let's go on to the rule that we, we have for today. Most of the time, it is not necessary to space after a two-celled sign. Example, they have the sentence appear at the door. So they have dot four, five, a dot three dot Oh, see, then the T-H-E sign, then the D as in David, and then dots four, five for the uh, diphthong O-O and the R appear at the door. He does appear, no, he does act among his friends and they have that he space, four, five D for does, dot 4a for act, dot 5a for among, his, the lower sign for his, and then friends, frs, that's all written with no spaces. He, space, does act among his friends, is all written as one sequence. Okay, it is necessary to space after two celled signs in the following circumstances. There's always exceptions to every rule, you know, how this goes. So, A, when the next word is to or by. Example, um, let's see. Oh, act to change the world. So you have to space between the dot four A for act and the two sign, the two, three, five, to change the world. The next exception is B, when the next word begins with the prefix B, con, C-O-N, or dis, D-I-S. So the, uh, consent, the sentence all considerations, or the phrase all considerations, you have to space between the word all dot four five six a and the word considerations because you have the con sign. This is when the next prefix is two a b two excuse me b con or dis. You have to space there. Okay, and letter c when letters are added to the two cell word. So in other words. Okay, to, okay, brings the mind. So the dot five B for bring, the S is added to that to make plural. So you have to space between that word and the as the next part of that sentence, brings the mind. Now, okay. To oh, brings the mind to bear. So in other words, yeah, brings the mind, brings space, the mind, space, to bear. You have the two and then the dot four, five B for the word bear. Okay. Now we're down to exercises for these wonderful little things we've just learned. Does All right. anybody have any questions before we get to those? Yes. Okay. Cynthia, go ahead and unmute. Um, could you repeat that last one, number the C? So letter C is when letters, when letters are added to the two-celled words. So in other words, brings the mind to bear. You can't have a space between bring and the because 
there's an S on it to make it plural. So it's when letters are added to the two celled word, you have to space before the next word. Okay. Now, a few of these words have already been, um, of course, discussed with us or with us in seeing all of these things. Uh, so I'm looking through this exercises to see which ones we haven't done. How about react? Does anyone want to try the word react? How would you write that? React. All right. Hannah. See, I think it would be the OW sign dot two four six dot four A. <laughs> very right? good. Yes. React. Very good. I wanted to see if somebody was thinking about that RE sign. Yeah, you got it. React. Excellent. Okay. How about doesn't he doesn't have everything all right mary we would put four five d in apostrophe t yeah yes ma'am right okay how about Unchristian. That was a very unchristian thing to do. How would we write that? All right. Jeanette. Um, I N G dot five C dot six. Yes. Excellent. Right. Good job with the remembering that UN initial sign. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Now the rest of these are all words that have already been given to you. So I won't I won't give you those again, but the next part of this is the next part of this is our our our, our sentences and Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see, give the sentence and I'm going to give you guys a minute to write it down and we will see, man, this, these, these, they love to give us some little challenges here. So First one is Tom is to appear at the ball among his friends, distinguished because of his acts of courage, period. See, I think there should be a, a comma after friends, but I didn't write it, and uh, <laughs> I, may, I could be wrong. Who knows? But uh, Tom is to appear at the ball among his friends, distinguished because of his acts of courage. So I'm going to let that sink in for a second, see if anybody wants to tackle that one. Nancy and Tadri, I would put definitely yeah. put a comma there. Yeah, yeah I, I was thinking I so among his friends, comma, distinguished because of his acts of courage. That's yeah. what I would do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would put a comma there. I did. So 
but now yeah. I have to see how I did. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's uh, it doesn't look like it's been rubbed out, so I don't think there was one there in the book. But hey, yeah. it should be okay. <laughs> Thanks. You betcha. Thank you. Anyone want to tackle this? Tom is to appear at the ball among his friends, distinguished because of his acts of courage. <laughs> no brave souls, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, huh? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I should outline the first one for you guys and then let you guys go from there. Would you guys feel better if I did that? <laughs> okay, wait, Jeanette. Oh, I mean, Jeanette. Yeah, yeah, wait. Jeanette. Okay, we'll see how far I get. Tom, T O M, and then the is, which is two five, two, and then appear. That's four five a at dot four a the and then b a that's four five six among dot five a his friends space uh that's as far as i got so far okay okay so we just go through that part of it and then we can finish the rest of the sentence because there is a space after friends so yes so Okay, Tom is to appear, and now that is and to appear, I need to look that up to see if the, the lower linking sign can be put in front of that to sign. I believe so, but let's see. To appear at is dot three. So to appear- oh, I was thinking of acts. Sorry. Right, act, right. It's at as in AT at. at the ball, right. The ball. I kind of figured that's what you thought. And I thought, well, maybe I didn't say it clear enough, but yeah, it's no, the it was word me. At. <laughs> okay. So to appear at the ball. So we have now here I would put the B and dot four five six for LL because. Uh, that A can be outlined. It's the first. It's the first syllable of the word. Well, it's the only syllable of the word. So it's an A, and it can be taken out. So I would put the B and then the dot four five six for the LL at that point. Yeah, that makes sense. Because that's less cells even than B dot four five A for ALL. So I would put B and that dot four five six, and then space after that and then among his friends you could put oh. dot five a and then lower h for his and then frs for friends and then the rest of the sentence distinguished because of his acts of courage who wants to tackle that part Hmm. <laughs> no one <laughs> no one okay so distinguished now i'm looking at this wondering if this yeah this i can go away so dis sign t i n g u oh wait it's a ui isn't it yes it is it is a UI, so that can have the UI diphthong, which would be the dots five six, S H sign E D, distinguished, and then I would space there because space there of his, so of uh, lower H and then dot four A S acts of his acts that can be written together then of, of. c 
O U R and then lower G, lower G with a period of courage. So of his acts of courage can all be written together. No, no, no. Of his acts space oh. of Oops. courage. Whoops, yeah. I goofed. Yeah. Whoops. Between yeah, because the the word acts A C T S all right. has that S in S on, so oh, it has yep. to be spaced. Yeah. It's got letters yeah. added to it, so it has to be spaced. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. how I would do that. Now, what I can do, how would you guys like to proceed? What I can do is there's more of these sentences to to uh, to do, and we can write them down, or I can just go on to the grade two part of it and read you the grade and read you grade two things and have you tell me what they are um because there are sentences and words in both in both parts grade the grade two part and the grade three part take your pen nobody's raising their hand nobody's raising their hand well okay then <laughs> All right, then. Oh, Jeanette, are, whoops, I lied. Oh, well, it, it, Zoom always makes a liar out of me, too, when I'm hosting, so. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeanette. Liar out of all of us. Telling <laughs> you. Um, I, I think we should take some sentences and do them over the week. Okay, I can and do that. Yep. Maybe we can go on to whatever. Okay, we can do that. Oops, I Mary just that. raised her hand. Okay, Mary. What do you think? Whoops. What do you think? All right, Mary. I don't like to do them over the week unless we're going to go over all of them because then, I mean, I really, you know, since we don't have an answer key, I don't really have any way of knowing like, you know, the ones last week, we didn't do that. We didn't do them all. So, I mean, I, you know, I'm so, I'm just so unsure of myself, especially with these, these lower word signs just give me fits. I don't, mm -hmm. I just, you know, I can't remember. There are just too many exceptions to those. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. Um, I understand. Okay. I don't mind then, homework. That's, that's not my deal. I mean, I'll, I'll do that. You can ask my abacus students. I give it out left and right, but I hope <laughs> yeah. they feel more sure about their homework than, than I feel oh. about this. <laughs> um, uh, I have an idea also. I, I just want to throw this out. Yeah, please do. When, when, when you're saying that, okay, if, if you give uh, students, uh, if we give them sentences for the week, then wouldn't we naturally go over them next week? All of them well, that we did do last week. Last week, Kristen didn't go over all of the sentences that we had dictated <coughs> to them. I think that's what oh, she I said. Yeah, I was okay. Yeah. So, well, so, what we could decide that we would do that is what I'm saying. Is we would decide that we will do that. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I can give out the sentences, and you guys can and you guys can work on them. And then it's Audrey's turn next week, so she can decide that she's going to go over that. Absolutely. If, I've already decided that. Yeah. My okay. other idea, if we didn't do it this way was what if we, uh, for another time, we can think about this when you were giving the sentences and you were um, giving the whole sentence, then when you we broke it down, but what if we just broke it down and asked the person to do just that little piece and then the next little piece and, or did we already do that? And I missed that. D do you know what I mean? So that it's not so overwhelming. Uh, we, sometimes we split them up. Sometimes we just let yeah. the person take it as far as they want to. But that's this is done. this will be cool to write them down. I'm gonna I'm writing them too. So okay, okay, that's cool. All right, the next sentence then is move. okay. The actions of that group brought no betterment of the unbearable situation period the actions of that group brought no betterment 
of the unbearable situation, period. And if I'm going too fast, um, please stop me and somebody raise their hand and yell, stop. <laughs> okay. Is next, it next. is it of, of the unbearable or of that unbearable? Of the unbearable situation. Of the unbearable situation. Okay, next one. It is not clear to me what course of action can be taken to bring about a better Christian spirit among the people of this region, period. Whoa, let me read that again. It is not clear to me what course of action can be taken to bring about a better Christian spirit among the people of this region, period. Okay, the next one. I am doing the best I can to appear attractive at all times, semicolon, but of course it doesn't matter very much what I do, comma, For the doing cannot alert, oh, excuse me, alter, yeah, A-L-T-E-R. <laughs> For the doing cannot alter the facts of my actual appearance, period. I am doing the best I can to appear attractive at all times, semicolon. But of course, it doesn't matter very much what I do, comma, for the doing cannot alter the facts of my actual appearance, period. Okay. Next one. Each evening, comma, acknowledging that the work of the day is done, comma, Everybody should bring his thoughts to bear on all that is beautiful and peaceful, period. Now that sentence again is, each evening, comma, acknowledging that the work of the day is done, comma, everybody should bring his thoughts to bear on all that is beautiful and peaceful, period. Okay, 
Now the rest of these are all written in grade two and you have to write them, or written in grade three rather, and you have to rewrite them into grade two. So I'm gonna give out a couple words and see if anyone wants to tackle those. And then Audrey, you can let me know if you want those sentences read out as well. But here we go. How about, that's 246.45a. Who wants to tell me what that word is? All right. Hannah. Just guessing, is it reappear? Yeah. Yay. Okay. Okay, so dot four C D. Uh, oh, um, sorry. Mary had her hand up from before, so she's going to get oh. this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let her um, ask whatever question she. It's a uh, coursed. Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. Did you have something else? No, I didn't. You didn't get a chance. I, to, okay. I just, just didn't, make... I didn't answer before, but that's okay. Cause I knew this one. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, and all the rest of these are, are ones that we've, uh, we've done just, um, just making you basically write out each one. Dot four, five, six E dot five dot four e dot five b you know just having you write out what these all these words are mm -hmm. all right so now the rest of the sentences um audrey these are written in grade three and you have to break write them out to grade two shall i give the grade three dots and cells the way they write them or how would you just like me to read the sentences with the words and you guys write them the other way, like you did all the rest of them. Yeah. Um, what would you all want to do? Do you want to write them in grade three and, and, and then Nancy will read them and you, you know, you just jot them down now in the, in the grade two that, you know, and do you transfer them to grade three or do you want her to say the dots in grade three, but then you'd have to write them in grade two. All right. Um, Mary, go ahead yes. on you. Well, I'm willing to do whatever um, everybody wants, but I, I think that sometimes it's really good for us to see some things written in grade three because, you know, we do have some examples of it um, right. in the books that we have. I have both of the books, um, the Rodenberg and the um, Haydell, right. but sometimes it is, it is kind of nice to see um, some of these are more normal sentences you know yeah yeah but i'll do i'll do whatever the whatever the class wants to do i agree with mary i i, I, I like that i i like that idea because i do too but i wanted to to get the mm -hmm. students you know for what they want and need but it's it is very helpful to see how grade three is written that way you see different spacing things and you get used to look wait that doesn't you know this wait this looks right spaced and this doesn't you know things like that but you get used to that that way Okay, we so got about this, 11 minutes. This, okay. I, I just have a question. So if you read them first, how many sentences do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So if you read them in grade three now and rewrite them, um, I, I just want, everyone knows grade two. So I'm almost thinking next week, it would be just fun if everybody would reread them in grade three. Like, you know, like say Mary, read the first one, you know, and, and you, we we all write them the way you read them to us, but I don't know if it's necessary really to rewrite them in grade two because we all know that. Do, do you know what I mean? And we're not right, but it's just it's just recognizing what the grade three is, and do you recognize what it is when you're reading it? Is the reason they translate it back translate it? Mm -hmm. So you could just wouldn't have to necessarily write them out if they wanted to, but just to read the sentence 
okay, here's what it actually says. Yeah. Okay. That way they, that we know they can read the great three is, is, is the, uh, the goal I'm <laughs> thinking okay. about here. Okay. That's, that's good. But, um, okay. So I'm going to give them to you just with the dots and so forth. So TH sign P is in Papa space. Dots four, five, six. D is in David. N is in Nancy. Space. Dots four, five. B is in boy. Dots four, five, six. T H E sign. G R dot six. F is in Frank. Space. W E dot four five six dot three dot two. Oh, let's see the T H E sign. Lower D is in David. That's the dot four five A dot four six E space. of sign dots four five six t h e sign h m z is in zebra space dots three five t h e f is in frank l as in love dots four five D as in David space C is in cat dot four S is in Sam D is in David space what? three five six T H E M E L T I N G space. That's an easy word. And then the word snow, S N O W period. That's the first sentence. Oh my God. Wow. Whoa. Huh. Yeah. So that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a question at the very beginning. What? Did you say TH sign or THE sign at the very beginning? THE sign. Okay, that's what I thought, but I misheard. Yeah, THE okay. sign. Yep. Do, do you know what I'm finding is when I'm writing what you're saying, I have no idea what I'm doing until I reread re it back again. Then it makes sense to me. I'm trying to decipher it as I write it, and, and I'm not oh, doing wow. very well. <laughs> oh, wow. I yeah, I just, just after you get used to what everything is, then you get used to like when you write grade two, it, it'll it'll come. <laughs> it'll come. Oh. All right. So, do you want uh, how many more of these? Do you think, Audrey? As we well, have a hand long, until the time is over. Okay, I will do my best. Okay, we have a hand raised. Oh my, Cynthia. Okay. Cynthia. Okay. Um, what were the first, the, the, the first things before the first space and the, the T-H-E sign and the letter yeah, and P? P. Yeah, the letter P oh. is in Paul. Okay, now I missed the P. And my lower three and And then space. And then space, right. Okay. okay. So I am going to start the second one. And mm, H E space dots four five six D as in David N is in Nancy dot three T is in Tom space the word mind M I N sign D space. 
I mean, the ones, the obvious grade two ones, I'll just go ahead and give you. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> then dots two, four, six. Letter V is in Victor. Dot six. W. Hmm. ING sign. Space. Dots four, five. E. Dots four, five, six. E. ING sign. Space. <laughs> THE sign. Dots four, five, six. E. T as in Tom. S as in Sam. Space. Of sign. That's two, three, six. Letter P is in Paul. ST sign. Space. The word life, L I F E, space. Z L dot five six G space Z H E space what dot four five six H A space W I dot four five six I N G space the word audience a u d i that's five six e for e n c e period okay the next sentence e r sign space Could space not space? So um, ACC space, full braille cell, one, two, three, four, five, six, dots two, three, six, dot four, dot, okay, dot four, uh, C. Is in cat of sign dot four a dot five a space the full cell the four sign s is in Sam h o w Sign space H E space the word he obviously dot four five A E D sign space to have the two and the H sign space L O ST sign two three six B K S comma space P P E R sign S comma dot four E period. Uh -huh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just looking. Okay, yeah. Mary oh, has her hand raised. Oh dear. Okay. What's up? Okay, Mary. Go ahead. The two really short ones. There was a space be before the um dot four E. At the end of the sentence, yes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yep. You got it. There's two very short ones left. There are oh, only cool. one line of braille, so. Okay, the next one, number four here is, uh, okay, ah, oh, nuts, it's the top of the hour. <laughs> ah, go ahead. 
<laughs> so I just finish these real quick? Yes, or, yes. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lucy. <laughs> All right, so C space, Y space, that's three six. Lower F is two three six or two three five rather. A AR sign. Um, oh, oh. Um, then I, there's a space there oh. after the AR sign. Mm -hmm. Then a dot three and an A space dot four. B is in boy. Dot five. T is in Tom. Comma. Dot five. B is in boy. ING sign. Space. AR sign. Space. M space. F is in Frank. C, T is in Tom, S is in Sam, question mark. And the last one is W space, X is in X ray, B is in the dots two, three. Dot four five six. D as in David. Dots three five. Dot five. T as in Tom. I and G sign. Oh. Space. W space. X. S T sign. B E sign, I N G sign, dot four five six, D is in David, space, dots three five six, lower J, okay, and then a T as in Tom, M as in Mary, question mark, and that, my friends is the last sentence in that lesson right there. Oh, man. That's good. Now I feel much better doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. You have all these. Oh, neato. Just looking at what's coming up. All right. So there you go, folks. There is a two-celled introduction to two-celled word signs. The distinction between two-celled and short-form words that have two letters and then some sentences for you to work on and, and play with. And that's some grade three for you to feel so you can get used to the spacing and all that. Does anybody have any other questions or anything to, to uh, any last thing to ask or say before I pass it back over to Kristen? Okay, then I'm gonna pass this back over to Kristen. Thank you so much. She's for not here. Oh, Kristen's, she's not. No, she left oh, the meeting. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even catch that. So, all right. Well then we'll just, okay. If you have any uh, questions, obviously emailing uh, her at braille mailbox dot uh, at gmail.com and myself at the song mage at yahoo.com. And that we'll get you questions there and she's going to get those youtube videos uploaded so we'll have all the lessons and we'll be good to go and we'll look forward to next week oh yeah that's good nancy can you stay on a second if i if i can just pick your brain for next about next week or do you uh, want to talk tomorrow i i you would have to stay on I with her because oh, i have oh. to end the meeting i'm the host yeah, she has okay, to end the i meeting, got it so, yeah. i always forget that thanks lucy unless i no. give nancy the host permission i mean i can do that <laughs> Oh, the pro I don't know if I'm on my phone. I don't know if it'll let me accept it or not. Oh, but... sure it will. Oh, um, I, won't or I tell can. Anybody. Hold on. So or... Do we stop the recording? <laughs> oh, yeah. She could stop the recording anytime. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Because you don't want that on the. <laughs> sorry about that. 
Yeah.